Hi friends, my name is Al or Alo Starnard on Instagram and welcome to today's episode of I'm tired. I'm just really tired. Today we are going to be fuck. Okay. Today we will be trying out uh fuck. Today we're gonna be trying out some acrylic paints kindly gifted to me by Chocola. It's a 64 pack of tubes. I think they're like 22 milliliter. Um, I'm excited. They also sent a 20 pack of canvas board. So we're gonna try them out. We're gonna we're gonna paint some stuff. So the canvases they sent come in four different sizes. I think five of each one. Five by four is 20, yes. Um, and I wanted to use each size of canvas. Otherwise I felt like I would be like wasting the gift. I don't know why, uh, but I didn't want to paint four different like detailed portraits and go that hard because again, I'm tired. So I thought instead I would do some Studio Ghibli screen caps. I feel like that's a thing that's been happening. Maybe it's like a trend. I feel like I've definitely seen people repaint so Howl's Moving Castle, which is what I'm gonna do. I don't know if people are still doing it. I'm probably behind, but I'm excited. I just watched the movie yesterday for like the third time ever. Love that movie. I'm excited to paint it. Let's go, let's do it. Let's not waste any more time. Let's go. I can't see. Oh, should I rainbow order them? I'm gonna rainbow order them. The hardest part of the rainbow is when you get to like the green blues. Like, where do you put the green blue? Okay. Oh, perfect. I can't see half of them. Oh, great. Let's pick a question. We're just gonna from bottom up. Affordable but good alcohol based markers that aren't Copics. Great question. I don't know. Okay. Um, this is gonna be terrible. This wax paper, not a good idea. Alcohol-based markers that aren't Copics um, that are affordable. I, my go-to answer is gonna be Arteza Everblend markers. Not just because I have a affiliate link with them, but I genuinely think if you're like looking to start out with markers and you just wanna know if they like work for you, don't go for really expensive markers like Copics way too yellow you want to get something you want to get something that's like going to be cheap but still give you the same feeling as like the top tier markers because if you do like them and you want to invest in like more then you're gonna want like the better quality ones later down the road one concern i have for these paints is that they're not gonna be opaque enough they seem kind of thin like just the way they come out, they're like really liquidy, which at first feels nice, like squeezing it out, but like, there's not much in each tube. Oh, I put my paint back. Mother trucker. So, so far I'm not loving it. Um, not the paint, but my painting. It's probably a little too early to be making judgments, but literally trying to do these sketches took three days because I would like like I can't I can't do anime like at all let's go to a new question let's take my mind off this um do you do art full-time yes and no so I don't have like a job right now so I was going to like I just recently graduated from college and the plan was I was gonna take I graduated semester early so I was going to take that semester off because I had some plans to go back and like do some like school events um, type thing. Like I was going to go to my graduation. The EMS group that I was a part of has like a, a banquet event every year. So I was going to take some like time to go there. Um, my friend had, I don't know if that was part of it. Like I had stuff to do. So I didn't want to have a job and like have to worry about getting time off and stuff. And I was really burnt out from school. So I wanted a break anyway. So the plan was... I was going to take that second semester off and like not get a job and just like be lazy bum and really give art a chance as a career before I was busy with other things. And then the coronavirus happened and it got, I was one, just scared to leave my house, but two, it got really hard to get a job. And the jobs that I were mainly looking for was in the health field. So I didn't really want to 
expose myself that much for like, I wouldn't have been able to do much. My EMT certification has expired and I wasn't even allowed to like practice in Florida anyway. I was only allowed to practice in Virginia. So it's not like I would have been able to really like help people. I really, I mean, I would have been manpower, but I would have just been like taking vitals or something or like in the reception area, which still would have been useful, but it's not like I was withholding, you know what I mean? Like I didn't feel bad about like not wanting to get the job. So, uh, but it got, it was really hard to get a job anyway. I've been applying now and like, I have two degrees, please just hire me, but it's fine. Um, and I'm also like in school to do some other stuff now because I have a change of passion, change of my worldview, I don't really know. Um, so I'm doing other stuff, you know? So technically speaking, yes, I do art full time in the sense that I don't have a real job. Um, but this is not at all making me enough money to like support myself. I want to, like I would love to be able to do this as a full time job. Like literally, like um, like for this to pay for things, but it doesn't. So I'm working on that. Like I'm really trying to take this more seriously. I have some goals for 2021 to maybe make this my full time job, but for now this is um, it's not a job. It's making me money, but not that much money. So there's that. This canvas is too small for me. Let's read another question. Let's see. If there was another season of Avatar Last Airbender, would you want Azula to get a redemption arc? Yes, I would love, I know that that was in like the original plan for her to get a redemption arc. And I love that idea. I think that would be amazing. Um, I would literally, I would love that. I love Azula. Um, I think, I think she has room for a redemption arc. I know why some people, like, I know some people think that she's well-rounded enough and it kind of is, like, interesting that she's, like, she's a great villain and I totally agree, but I just think that she would be, I know in the comments, comments? In the comics, she almost gets one, but then she's just, like, tied up all the time or something like that. I think she has such an interesting history and like with the the issues with the parents between Zuko and Azula, like they each have issues with the other parent and she's shown like portrayed as being like evil since she was a child. Like she's always been like this terrible conniving person. But I think it would be really interesting to see her kind of like learn from her mistakes and I think that would be fun. I think that that would be I'm totally down for her having a redemption arc, personally. Do you like Taylor Swift? If yes, which is your favorite song? No, I don't dislike her. I have literally no feelings towards Taylor Swift. Literally none. Could not care less. I would like to listen to her new album because it's like a vibe. So I've heard, um, but I haven't and I probably won't because I'm lazy. That's about that. I used to like her, like way back in like Romeo and Juliet days, I used to like her. Mainly because I didn't really know of any other musicians. I was Romeo, oh wait, <laughs> you were Romeo, I was too throw I don't really remember how that goes. You said stay away from Juliet, I was crying on the staircase, begging you please don't go. Oh, I need to do more. Right. It's what's really frustrating about these paints is they're already thin. And it takes nothing to thin, like no water. And all of a sudden they're like, so, like so watery. And it's getting really frustrating having to constantly readjust. Like three, I'm not it's getting angry. I am getting angry. One eternity later. I don't know where I left off before. I had to transfer footage and while I was waiting, I just finished up this painting. Um, and I decided I'm not gonna continue on to the last one because I'm tired and I don't care anymore.
I never really cared, but like I really don't. That sounds really. I just. I'm just. I was not in a painting mood today, but I really needed to get this done. Um, and my experience with the paints was not much to convince me to try harder. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to off camera line all three of these and then show you the final results. Um, but I'm going to give you my final thoughts of the paintings, the paint, the paint now, which is that I'm not impressed, um, for as little paint is in each tube because it's so watered down. I just don't really think it's worth the money. My experience with them was less than satisfactory. It's not like entirely, one is the fact that like I was not in the mood to paint, which does not help things. I think objectively these paints just weren't, they weren't, I don't wanna say that they're bad because I think some of it is the fact that I wasn't in the mood um, and that I wasn't trying my hardest with these specific paintings, but I did not expect to have to work this hard to make paints look good. Um, they, they were really, really thin and really watery, which is not what you want in acrylic paint. Normally, I'm, I'm used to like thicker, blendable stuff. Um, this mixed really well. Well, really well is strong. These mixed well enough. They blended badly. <laughs> like on canvas, they blended badly. I'm sorry, Chocola. I feel so bad when companies send me stuff and then I give them like a bad review. This is, I think this is the first genuinely bad review I'm gonna give. I just didn't like them. I appreciate them being sent to me, but they, the canvases were fine and I like the sizes. Um, but these paints were like a pain in the butt. There's too many paints and paint colors. I'm sure in another situation that would have its value, but as someone who comes from using a very limited palette, that's just unnecessary. I would rather have bigger tubes and more paint considering how thin this was. This took a lot of paint just to get opaque color. It spread weird. It kind of felt like mayonnaise is a good way to explain the way it felt going onto the canvas. It kind of felt like I had mayonnaise on my brush. It didn't connect to the canvas. I don't like even know how to explain it. Um, it wasn't a good experience. We'll put it that way. I, I might say that like the smaller pack, like the 35 or whatever, might be a better purchase. I still don't know if I would recommend these. They're not the worst paints I've ever used. I've used worse paints. And I think that these might do well on paper, like, a, like mixed media paper. Um, but I did not enjoy the canvas experience, that's for sure. Um, so I'm gonna go finish these up show you the final product. Um, but that's basically it for this video. One thing that I should mention is I've been looking at this through the lens of like a experienced artist using art supplies, but Chocola does seem to be a company that's more geared towards kids. Um, and I guess I, in that sense, I've probably been a bit harsh in judging them. I would say that these are definitely not for professional or ex experienced use. Um, but if you're looking for paints for your kids, these might be a, this might be a lot of paint and therefore a bit expensive, but the smaller pack might be good. Um, I can see these being used for newer artists or younger people, but overall, I don't think I would recommend them in general. But again, that's from a very specific lens of someone who uses fine art supplies. And I don't know if these would necessarily be classified as that considering I'm assuming these are geared towards younger people. So keep that in mind. Um, but my opinions still stand, if that uh, makes sense. Okay, thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna link Chocola's stuff down below if you wanna check it out. Um, but besides that, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Go wash your hands, go drink a glass of water. You know, all that fun stuff. Special thanks to my gay best friends. Arij K, President Liv, Max Z, Jasmine G, Lainey, Ophelia B, and Milky Grace. If you want to be my gay best friend as well, check out my Patreon info down below. And have a great day, guys. Go do some art. Bye.